What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you part two of a special Mandalorian Din Djarin series. Primed them in black and got the helmet and shoulder pad um, completed for the most part. Still have to go in and uh, put some finishing touches on the helmet um, and the shoulder plate as well. But for the most part those are done. Now I'm going to focus in on the remainder of his um, of his outfit. This is pre-full Beskar Mando, um, so I'm going to be painting it um, as such, um, which will allow me to play with some more colors. But without further ado, I'm going to jump right in. And as always, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. If this is the first time you're joining me here on the House of Paint channel, normally I have invested time... Uh, an effort into painting the uh, entirety of the monster manual. I'm almost 30 monsters in right now, so you could definitely check out those videos. Um, but this is a little special that I'm uh, running this week that I'm very excited about. So I'm going to go in here on the Mandalorian bust right now. All right, so for a base coat on his kind of little vest underneath the chest plate, I'm going to be giving him um, a bit of a khaki. I'm just going to be giving this a base coat here. Never painted a 3D model before. I was a little, um, not hesitant, but I wasn't sure how it would translate. Um, but it's actually worked out pretty nicely. Um, so there is that. Eventually going to be working this up to a little sandy color. And for now, I'm just kind of sketching out the, the areas that I want to um, kind of have that khaki look. I like to start a couple shades darker than my intended color. So this that he's wearing here is actually a vest um, that he's got underneath his, his chest plate, so... So I'm going to move on from there for a little bit, and I'm going to hop down into his, uh, his under, this thing right here, I'm going to hop into that. 
I'm going to go in on that with a little heavy sienna. Also give me a chance to clean up any khaki that I might have spilled over. the same color on his chest piece here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and work on his his cape and his sleeves. So for this, I'm using a little bit of a heavy gray. I'm darkening that with a little black to really dull that down. So I'm going in on his sleeves.
So there is uh, one coat on his sleeves. I'm not sure I actually, because in the pictures I've been looking at for inspiration, I'm not sure that this might be the best course to go with, because there is a little bit of um, green in the in the heavy gray and the mid uh, shirt underneath and his cloak is almost more of a charcoal, so let's see what I can do here. All right, so I've gone ahead and mixed a little um, heavy blue-gray with some black. I want to see if um, this actually looks like it will be nearer the mark, so... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and base coat his cape with it. Yeah, I like that a lot better, so I think I'm going to try to incorporate that on the arms as well, because the arms and the cape are like roughly the same color. So luckily, my first coat of this is um, this heavy gray and black mixture. Luckily, it's pretty light. All right, so cloak and sleeves are at least blocked out, so that's good. 
not sure if I'll go ahead and do a um, mid-tone in this part, but we'll see. I'm going to go on to the, the next shoulder blade. Right, so on this shoulder blade here, I'm going to be going over this with um, some more heavy sienna. There's, there's his other shoulder blade. I think I want to try to get the edge of his cape. Alright, I think I'll go into his strap. Alright, so one thing I did was I rechecked my research and um, this part and this part are also kind of brown so the inner portion here is really the only portion of this that is um kind of metal so i'm going to be going over this with a um uh with a gun metal i also want to block out this little gadget give the impression of metal down here. All right. All right, so it appears everything is blocked out. Um, in part three, I'm going to go in over this with some final highlights, um, especially over the the cloak, the fabric, and the plates. So I still have a lot of stuff to do, and I also want to try to touch up the uh, the helmet just a little bit because, as you can see, it's still kind of roughly sketched. Um, so that will all be uh, going on in part three. As always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.